Hello guys, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to part 4 in the Hearts of Iron 4, the battle for the Bosporus. So, last episode I think that our focus is not working, I'm not sure, maybe I am wrong, maybe I am missing something. But I think I'm gonna mail uh, Paradox, I mean it's the 11th of October when I'm recording, so it's 4 days until the release, so maybe I can uh, say something about it. I really think it is not working, so... Maybe I'm missing it though. I can also be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. We did the mobilize the economy focus, so we have even less consumer goods, which is really good for us. We get a bit more war support. And we now have a, a war economy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, we really want to get rid of our foreign monopolies. And for this one to complete, we need to click one of these. Now, let's see what we can pick. We have uh, Rejuvenating Athens. Uh, we get two free civilian and one military factory in Athens. In Attica. We can get uh, one naval dockyard and two civilian factories. And this great effect when we also control Cyprus and the Dodecanese Islands. And we can do clear the slums. We are getting all kinds of uh, building slots and manpower. I think we're going to go for this one. I really think so. Uh, Turkey, are you becoming... Um, no, he is not going... Well, he is actually somewhat going the political way, I think. Yeah, he is going the democracy uh, way. Oof. I wonder if uh, uh, Romania keeps their guarantee on Turkey. We will see. What about Bulgaria? What are you doing? Look at these new trees, guys. He's doing uh, some uh, research slots. He's doing a, a good thing. He's building up his economy, so... I cannot complain with that. The fascists will become friendly by events. We don't have to click the button. And Nationalist Spain won? No, there's still a big war going on with the Carlist Nationalists and... Ew, can I help you? No, because we are still democratic. We have to 2%. We have 8% fascists now. Should I check one more time, but what happens when I go to 100? It would be nice when uh, to know when Germany is going to annex uh, Lower Austria. <laughs> I mean Austria, but <laughs> I don't know. I cannot get 100 with you because you already hate me. I could get it with Austria. Maybe I should try it again. I don't know. We have three civilian factories from occupation. Apparently. <laughs> I mean, what did I occupy then? <laughs> what did I occupy? I did not occupy anything. I think I'm gonna use my uh, Schlachtplan. Or no, it's not Schlachtplan. Schlachten is something else. My Schachtplan. To build one more uh, civilian factory. And then we have to start building on our military, I think. Maybe maybe one or two more civilian factories. And then we will go full ham. Uh, the nice thing is that we have uh, partial mobilization. And limited export, which is good. Be nice if we can go here. Did I not get... Um... So, another bug. Change economy law to war economy. Which grants consumer goods factories 20%. I did not get war economy. I get, I get partial mobilization. So this focus is also uh, not working. I'm going to write this down and I'm going to mail 
uh, to parallax. This is a this is a disaster if it if it's like this, right? Mobilize the economy. It's not working properly. It would be nice if I could get uh, war economy, but I didn't. Now, I do have 150 political power. I also think that uh, getting civilian factories from other countries is not working. That's still my theory. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to try it one more time. We have 5, 2, 15 and 3. What happens when you go to 100? Nothing. Still the same. E member plunders foreign owned factory and distributes stolen goods. In an unfortunately all too familiar scene, adherents of the E have broken into foreign owned factories for the purpose of distributing the goods manufactured within the poor and disenfranchised. Georgius, Cosmides and the leadership of the EE claim to have no knowledge of the activities but have also impatiently defended the men and women taking part in the apparently altruistic string of plunders. It cannot be tolerated. We should not stop them, we get more fascism. Yes, we want more fascism. Now we have 17%. So I guess I'm gonna go to limited cons conscription. I wonder if this will open up this uh, this thing again. Hmm. Not yet. Maybe it won't. We have only one field marshal, so we should give him uh, some points because we almost have 100. Uh, more defense, more extra attack. More entrenchment. Get on entrenchment. Let's become very defensive. Mm. Let's do that one. We have some surplus of uh, things now. That's very nice. We get us some more manpower. Um, I think it's time to edit our template. We have an engineer. We have support artillery. Some re reconnaissance can be really good. So I think I'm going to take this one. Yeah, I will take this one. But let's start with some uh, some artillery. We have it in storage. Now, what is our combat width? Uh, I, I guess still 20 is the best to do. So I think we have to replace one. We can replace two normal infantry divisions by adding two artillery. That will increase soft attack by a lot. Let's do it like this for now. Uh, let's see what do we have in our logistics. Yeah, we have plenty of inventory equipment now. Um, let's not get more of these before we go to the other things. And there we go. We finally have our factory for our destroyer. It takes a full year to build one. With one factory. Fantastic. It is 1937. 1937. So I'm going to start getting some of these ready. I don't get any extra factories, I think, from this focus. 
I could be able to get something now. Five two fifteen entry. I mean, two nations are at 100 in the Balkans. I don't see it. I really don't see it. It would be nice if I can, sh if, if it shows me where I can see this information, but nope, of course not. Uh, do we keep our mo mountaineers? No. I'm gonna change my uh, templates to infantry only. See how did, what this does to my stockpiles. Yeah, now we need a bit more uh, artillery. That's it, actually. So that's, that's nice. Alright, there we go. Rejuvenating Athens. And now they demand higher wages for the Greek workers, the fascists. Um, I will accept. A bit more fascist power. 21%. There we go. This should increase our uh, factory output. Yes, there we go. It's still very low because I don't think it's working. This focus. Also, this focus is not working right now. And now we can finally do it. We can crack down on foreign monopolies. We will get uh, rid of our uh, foreign monopolies modifier. And this is really good. Then we can change uh, our economy loss, cheaper and trade loss. We want this one. Okay, we do have the motorized. Uh, maybe we should get another type of support equipment. So the field hospital is good for 20% um, back to the manpower pool, which can be really good. Logistics is good for, what was it again? Where are you? I don't see it. Supply usage, that's it. Mm. And you are initiative. I think we're gonna get... Oh yeah, and maintenance is good as well, because it... it um, well... This can be good as well. For our... Our guns, right? Well, do we, Is there any reliability thing? Yes, but that, so that saves five percent of our of our goods. That that's actually what it is doing then, right? Then we get to ten percent, and then we don't have any breakdowns anymore when we take this one. Maybe get maintenance, field hospitals, uh, recon, engineer, and then we have one slot left for our infantry. Engineer, uh, support artillery. Then we have no anti-tank or anti-air. And I think we need anti-tank later on against Germany and Soviet Union. If we will get there. Uh, so it's a bit of an... Like, what do I need to do? Yeah, I can also get motorized recon companies. Instead of cavalry. Which is way better, actually. Need fuel for the for those truckies, though. Hmm. Maybe. Our economy is so weak, though. Oh, what am I gonna do? We should not focus on field hospitals. Get anti-tank, anti-air, recon, engineer and support 
Artillery. Uh, not the support artillery. That will go away, actually. Let's get the field hospitals then. And remove the uh, support artillery for uh, anti-air and anti-tank. I think that's going to be the, the plan at some point. gonna get these two and then we have 15 civilian factories and then I'm gonna build my military up get rid of the uh, sh sh something plan wait is it not here anymore oh here these the schacht plan There we go. Track down on foreign monopolies. We got rid of that one. Um, I don't know if I get anything or not. I missed that. I hope that some of you can help me with this uh, this focus. This the bedrock of Balkan uh, financial stability. Did we get extra civilian factories by improving relations or not? I don't know. And the last thing we can do in our uh, production or industry research branch is getting an extra research slot get a scientific refinery and get more stuff now what what are we lacking right now only a bit of steel so we can do these two or we are gonna continue here Remove the shaft plan, maybe. As long as we're building this this uh, civilian factories, we should keep it. We get a bonus for civilian factory, uh, fifteen percent uh, production. So we don't want to remove it right now. Good thinking about uh, getting this. Get some battle plan decisions. Research slot can be good. We don't need it right now. The research slot. It's uh, we, we are we are on time with everything. But not true. This one. Um. Maybe I should get the research slot then. Now let's 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 focus on our goods. We are gonna we are gonna switch over to military focus very soon. Next focus we will uh, abandon the, uh, the plan with Germany. Oh, Shanxi capitulated and our fascists engage in street violence with our police. Their grievances are legitimate. More war support, lost a bit of stability, and we get more fascism. More fascism. 28%. What is our consumer goods percentage right now? It's only 13%. Thanks to the Schacht plan. I need so many more. So many more military factories before I can actually do something. I think the moment is there. Uh, we have to get rid of this guy. The improved relations cost is not going to work for us. So we need something like more manpower for non cores or military factory construction speed. That sounds like a great thing to take. Oh, we, we, and we need this one. So when we are fascist, we can get uh, training time and fascist support. Later on. Consumer goods factories minus 5%. Yeah. Hmm. For 150 points? I don't know. Poland declared war on Lithuania. Wait, what? You have the Midji Morze. And I guess... 
They are not aligned. Look at this. Opponent is eating Lithuania, guys. Huh. What is Germany doing? Are you actually be uh, staying fascist and, and uh, together with Italy? Maybe we can join a faction together when I form Byzantium. I think we should. Okay, it's telling us maybe you should train troops. Alright. So much more artillery. The French communists take power. Oh no! D don't join Stalin, please. <laughs> that would be so bad for us as, uh, as fascists. It's gonna be so bad. I don't want to. I don't want to even think about it. Yeah, we have plenty of infantry equipment. We just need to wait for our artillery equipment. Well, let's focus on one extra factory there then, and improve that rate. I mean, I know we are very artillery heavy, so. I think it's good. Yeah, Poland took it down, guys. Look, Poland. Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh! Well, that is great. I like that. What I don't like is that it will be gone soon, I guess. If Germany does what he is normally doing. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, right? Now, we do have um, motorized. We could make uh, our armored cars so we can uh, babysit uh, the territory we will conquer. But the thing is, when we form Byzantium, we get cores on all the land from Turkey. And then we don't need this, I think. I don't think there will be uh, um, uprisings because they are cores. So maybe... Just keep focusing on... Oh, we need this one. Computing machine. The Spanish directory is uh, going ham. Wait, are, th are that the Aragonese or what is it? Well, at least uh, the fascists are winning, which is really good for us. Yeah, we should be on war economy, according to that focus, so... That's at least something that is not working or telling you the truth. I hope I'm right on this factory thing. Night liquefaction. Now we should have a... Refinery... Yeah, one. A research slot. More everything. That we can trade away. Or continuing towards Byzantium. I'm gonna go this way. We should uh, prepare for the war when it when we can have when we can do it. I think we uh, completed the most important things. I really want this one though. You know what, I'm gonna take this one, research lot, and then we will focus on the diplomacy. I'm gonna do it. There we go, there's the Anschluss. Did I lose a factory of the Anschluss? I think so. No idea, to be honest. I don't know. 
Let's build military factories. Where we can. Uh, modify the government. Yeah, I think we will get rid of this guy. We could wait for the fascist guy and take something else. But uh, we will not be fascist for a long time. I guess I'm going to take you. So we will build our military factories quicker. We need so many artillery. Actually gonna do it like this. We need so much, so much of those artilleries. Just crazy. The only thing they are waiting for. Only... Oh, and a bit of support equipment. Artillery, artillery, artillery. Can I do something with... Oh no, I can't. I'm not fascist yet. Maybe I can get some stuff from other countries. Some old, art old artillery units or something. It would be very, very handy. Yes. They are becoming superiority of arms. They are doing more army stuff. Okay. Now, since you need to wait for artillery anyway, maybe it's time for us to get the... No, I don't think I can upgrade anything. Wait. I want a motorized recon, but we don't make motorized at the moment. And how much do we need? 260. And now suddenly we have more civilian factories again. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, let's put one there. Maybe two. And build those factories. We will have enough resources soon. Yeah, the field hospital. That was what I wanted to, to get. Um, 38. Get these two. 39. We need a better uh, cannon. We need the better guns. Did I say cannon? That's funny, actually. It's some sort of cannon. Uh, yeah, let's get um, these ones so we can build uh, better weapons afterwards. There's a little bit of uh, world tension. Germany did 10%, uh, a bit more maybe. Still not too high. Looks like the fascists in Spain are winning. That is fantastic. That is really good. And the music changes again. Yeah, it's broken. I turned this one off. And I'm still getting them. Oh well. The Munich Agreement. German demands for the Sudeten territory have intensified. A summit is there. And they get it. Sudetenland is part of Germany. And we got our stuff. We now have a huge amount of uh, uh, goods. Research slot. And then we go political. I promise you. But we did everything we could to increase our economy. You have to agree with me. Would love to go here. Would love to get the war economy, but uh, we need to get rid of the Schachtplan first. 
with exactly 50% war support. Poor Lithuania Commonwealth declared war on Estonia. Oh my god. Look at this Poland. No one is guaranteeing. It's gonna be easy war again. We can deploy units. Can I... I cannot really select anything here, right? No. Um, well, I will make a new army. I guess you give a high attack value. I like it. You're going to be at the front line to Constantinople. And the new units should go there. There we go. I am going to cancel you because we don't have enough artillery anyway. Yeah, there we go. The Falangist victory in Spanish Civil War. Look at this, guys. The fascist joined. It will be Germany, Italy, Spain and Greece or Byzantium in the fascist uh, faction, I think. So, uh, Poland, I would uh, <laughs> I would have joined the Allies if, if I were you. But, uh, oh well. But that means that we have to fight um, the Soviet Union maybe very early. Oof. We are not ready. Not at all. It's going to be a very interesting uh, run actually. I like it a lot. Really? White piece? What happened? Oh, they just joined the... They joined the... Uh, the faction. Without their will. And now Estonia is going to die as well, I guess. Oh, they have a truce. But that's over soon, so... Interesting. Are the allies still guaranteeing Slovakia? Not at the moment. Uh, you need to join this army group. There you go. Now it would be nice if we can put some uh, garrison units in Greece proper. I still think I want to. But I also want some... Um, I want a offensive line here. To Izmir. We need so we need so many more troops. It's unbelievable. Uh, two of you go also here. Two of you go to the garrison army. Uh, what am I going to do with the points here? Getting the army defense and stuff. What is this? Uh, cooperate with foreign monopolies. I don't think we will get that one. Consumer goods factories minus 7%? Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Ten percent factory output? Uh, can I get you? Wait a minute. We have only 6%. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> we only have 6% of our factories as consumer goods now. Yeah, we need to keep doing the battle plan. Let's build those military factories more. We need more. Let's keep. Uh, let, let's let's start building motorized, and then do this, and then fighters. If we want to upgrade our units with the field hospitals, we need also motorized. We need so much more motorized if we want to do this. It's crazy. I'm gonna cancel this one as well. Our manpower is uh, getting low. Remember, when we conquer Turkey, as Greece, we will get all those scores and we get so much manpower. Okay, we have extra research slot. Uh, which is gonna be just in time, I think. Anti-air, anti-tank, we need that. We need it. What resources do we have now? Yeah, we have 10 surplus here. Look at this. You're exporting half of it, right? 25%. Oh wait, the, uh, the, the plan thing is still doing that, right? Yeah, oh, when we get rid of this one, we will have so much goods for ourselves. We need it, we need it, we need it, we need it. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, the plan with Germany. So open up the country. Investment schemes decision, I don't know what that is. We are gonna do this one, we will remove the Schachtplan. And then we go... ...to Byzantium. Alright guys, that's going to be the end for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm going to mail Paradox Interactive about what I've seen. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and check the, the, the links in the description. And join the Discord for the discussions. And I hope to see you guys in part 5. Bye bye.